Hi everybody, how are you doing? Um, a little short notice, so thank you everybody for joining. Um, I want everyone to, if they have questions, feel free to ask questions and um, we'll get this thing started in, um, in just a minute here. Um, so basically, what I'm going to be doing is just like normal talking about uh, the stories that I wrote this week and um, give you guys kind of a chance to um, to um, to ask questions about them and everything else. So um, I guess I would start with the one that I wrote today, uh, which is about another school saying that the vagina monologues is offensive because it's not inclusive enough to women who don't have vaginas. That's, you know, trans women, etc. Um, this was at American University, and what the school did was they changed it instead to um, break, uh, it was called... Um, breaking ground monologues where you can just talk about your body and this is a quote we're asking all that all monologues be written about some subject in relation to your body in whatever way that means to you be it how you feel about your body in relation to food or your gender identity sexuality or trauma and this is being pitched as a sort of progressive adapted version of the vagina monologues but here's the thing and I'm really sorry if you guys don't know this and I'm blowing your mind, but um, the experience of having a vagina is a lot different than the experience of eating food, okay? Um, if you want to have a little show about bodies and all the body parts and whatever else, that's fine, do that. But to treat it as if it's, an adaptive, adapted progressive version of the vagina monologues is stupid and it's wrong because it's just not the same thing. Um, and the, the author, this has been happening in other schools. Mount, Hol Mount Holyoke College canceled the vagina monologues because it's not inclusive to uh, women without vaginas. Uh, Whitman College replaced this, rep um, also replaced its um, vagina monologues with the breaking with the breaking ground monologues. Uh, and so this all started happening actually last year, uh, last January, so January 2015. And um, so the author of the, the vagina monologue said, uh, told Time Magazine that she kind of can't believe this has been such a thing, saying, the vagina monologues never intended to be a play about what it means to be a woman. It is and always has been a play about what it means to have a vagina. In the play, I never defined a woman as a person with a vagina. Right, okay, so basically what she's saying is no matter how you identify, and this is pretty crazy here, guys, no matter how you identify, it's different uh, to have a vagina versus to not have a vagina. And, that, like, it's, it's it, the whole point of the play is to talk about having a vagina and that particular experience. Um, and if you're going to say that a show about a particular experience is offensive just because it excludes other experiences... You might as well, you mean, you realize you're arguing for the cancellation of absolutely every single work of art ever of all time. There's not a single work of art that could be described as relating to every single individual, and it shouldn't have to be. Um, you know, the vagina monologues is about vaginas, okay? Like, sport, like you should be able to figure that out. Um, if you don't have a vagina and you're like, why doesn't it include me? Well, because that's not what it's about. It's not about you. And there's all this, I mean, and by the way, also, the reason that people associate women and vaginas is because the fact is most people who identify as women do have vaginas and most people who have vaginas identify as women. That's not offensive to say. That's just a fact. I'm not saying right, wrong, this, that. I mean, it, I'm making no judgment on however you want to identify, whatever you want to do. That's great. That's fine. I really, it's it's fine. I support people's ability to, you know, and, and right to make decisions for themselves and be accepted. But 
that, that association doesn't come from nowhere. But at this, but even regardless of all that, why are you not allowed to have a play about a body part? It's a body part that certain people have and certain people don't. Um, it, 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 even the author's like, yeah, no, this is supposed to, this isn't supposed to be, I didn't say women are not women. Um, it, so it's like having, you know, to, and, and to say that it's antiquated, the school said it's antiquated, that's just wrong because, um, actually vaginas are not outdated. Uh, there are plenty of people out there who actually still do have them. So that's, you know, and if you're just now joining and you're like, what the, what the heck is she talking about? Um, it's my uh, latest piece today. It's about American University becoming the latest school to say the vagina monologues are, <laughs> yeah, are um, uh, offen you know, offensive to have women without vaginas, um, which makes, you know, about being upset that the vagina monologues only talks about vaginas is, I said this in my piece, it's like walking into a gynecologist's office and demanding a prostate exam. That's how much sense it makes. But Go ahead and uh, check out my piece on that on, um, on National Review. Um, wow, another dumb blonde. Thanks, Carol. I love when people join in just to be mean. It just It's really great. Hi, Carol. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to the next one.